So then we gonna go to five red lights. As the five red lights go out now, no formation light because of the glitch. And it slides out and away we go. Dodgy gets a great start there, but I think we're getting a bit of a timing glitch because Bad Otter seems to have jumped well up. So then all through the first corner safely, are we? I don't believe so. We've got an Aston Martin. That is Halo who has spun, who's on five lap old hearts. Um, and then Echo is on five lap old softs apparently. But there goes Bad Otter. Round he goes. So that's really unfortunate there for the Avatari, who was in a really good spot at, the, at that point in time. But Dodgy then leads from Big Mike, JPP, Richie, Barlow, Leah, uh, Hicklin, Echo, and James rounds out the top ten. But he's now coming under pressure from the Red Bull of Moly here. So can Moly go round the outside, maybe? He ride on board with the Red Bull. I think he's just going to back off and let the Mercedes have the position, which he seems to have done. But meanwhile, further up, then Richie losing a few places here. He might lose another place to his teammate Hicklin here. He seems to have run a bit wide out of one of the corners, maybe. And then he has dropped a few positions off the start. That's very unfortunate for Richie there, who had such a great qualifying. Leah has gained on a Leah has stayed position change then. SLR Dodgy leads from Big Mike. JPP Barlow is up four position. Two positions, sorry, up to P4. And then it's Leah holds position in P5. Echo up three into P6. Hicklin up seven. Or up three into P7. And Richie has dropped from P4 down to P8. Meanwhile, further back, then we've got four cars in the pit lane. Big Mike already getting a penalty for track limits. That's really going to hinder him in this race. So that's not good. Richie and Hicklin are dropping off the back of these of the top six at the moment. Then, whilst they keep each other interested. Meanwhile, then Leah is on the back of Barlow for that P4 position. He looks to gain on the Alpine here, but he's being overtaken meanwhile by the Williams of Echo. So Echo with a great run out of the final breaking zone for set two. And then through he comes up into P5 then for the Williams driver, and he's not done yet. He might look to make a lunge on Barlow. No, he doesn't make one. Definitely showing good pace so far in this race. On those soft tyres, whereas others who are maybe on the mediums around him. And then Hicklin is your highest place hard runner at the moment. Well, further back then, legendary Danny D is on the back of SLR James, who locks up, goes straight on into the heavy, into the grass there. And that promotes Danny D up into the top 10. Numar then Husky is closing in. The aid of DRS will happen. We will have the aid of DRS on this lap. So Dodgy eking out an almost two second lead over Big Mike at the moment. JPP looking to close in on on Big Mike. Echo then showing great pace on those softs right now. It will not be long before he overtakes Barlow for that P4 position. Maybe starts to make inroads on JPP. Bear in mind, I will go off a lot quicker than that for Barlow. There goes Echo then down the inside on Barlow and he gets the move done. So now he's going to start his hunt for JPP. We will have the aid of DRS to assist him get closer on this the lap. He will not have it going down this main straight. Meanwhile, for the back, Hicklin is looking to make up a few places. Even Maxwell has just made up a place on Husky Saturn. And further back, we've got Mello to come out. Behind James here, this is going to get real close between these two, side by side between the Ferrari and Mercedes, and Mello gets through. We go back to the front though, and we see Barlow is looking to launch an attack on Echo, but he cannot do anything, and he might come under a bit of pressure here from Leah. As meanwhile, further back, Danny D and Moly are side by side, and I believe Danny D is just the top place into P9 on the tires at the hard of Moly. Hicklin then has been over, re overtaken by Richie. And further back, we're seeing Baggy Fan, I believe, going side by side with James, but nothing comes of it position wise. So Echo then is trying to gain on JPP here, but he cannot do anything as of right now. No, 
I've just had some sort of scam or ad in my Twitch chat. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Here's other than. So then, Barlow is holding his ground on Echo at the moment, then. He's got plenty of VRS to play with, whereas Echo doesn't have a lot. Maybe Echo has eaten up too much of his tyres already in this race, but um, he's not making the inroads on JPP that you would probably expect. So, no seriously big battles happening at the moment. We've got this one for P4 as it stands. Um... Hickley now picks up a 3 second time penalty for track limits, so that is down in P8 in the car for the male car. So unfortunate for Hicklin there. And further back I believe we've had SLR Vettel just had a little bit of speed held by the dirt on the tires that I believe that, that is true. So not great for Vettel there. We've got a bit of a fight forming further back between James, Halo and Baggy. But they all spread out a little bit here. And meanwhile, we go back to the front as Echo and Barlow are now fighting for position. And Echo's gone round. He's in the wall. Oh, dear. I wish I'd caught that sooner to see what has happened. But have we got a safety car, a virtual safety car out? No. But that would be front wing damage, definitely. As you can see, no front wing on his car. And is there potential rear wing damage for the Williams there? That's such a shame for Echo as he was showing good pace. Now we've got the other Williams in the wall now. Husky Saturn in the wall. Not look, It's not been a great lap and a great sector for the two Williams cars. It's really not gone their way so far in this race. And Max Roger gets past Echo. So we've still got Leah looking to make big gains on Barlow here. Leah within DRS here, looks to go to the inside, finds the space on the inside, and is Barlow just going to let him through? Looks for the switch back, does Barlow? So they're now side by side through this fast left, and does Barlow hold on to it? He does, but did he exceed track limits in doing so? We'll have to wait and see, he's exceeded track limits there, big Mike's got another penalty for track limits, and that is definitely going to be looked at by the stewards, I believe, with SLR Barlow and SLR Leah. But this fighting has allowed Richie Chapel to come back into the fray. But here we go then. Leah should have a more clear-cut move now. As he does make his way through on the line. So the AlphaTauri then into the top four. Meanwhile, further in front, JPP has made big gains on Big Mike here. And here he goes then to the inside. Big Mike tries to hold it around the outside. He does a great job of doing so. And, uh, JPP is going to just allow him to take that position as he sits behind to gain the DRS going down the main straight Dodgy then with a four and a half second lead for the moment. So here comes JPP. Does he look to go down the inside on Big Mike? No he doesn't. Maybe look to scare Big Mike a little bit but all he's done in doing so is miss the apex himself. And further back Barlow tried to gain on Leah and Leah is looking to make hold that position. The legendary Danny D has got a three second time penalty. He's still track the limit now. Not quite what he wants at this moment. JPP versus Big Mike is shaping up to be one big battle. Obviously Big Mike has already got six seconds of time penalties. So that's going to hold him back a little bit. But it shouldn't be too bad. As here comes JPP, a lot closer this time, looks to go to the outside, does he make the switch to the inside? No, he holds position for now. Maybe just conserving ERS, conserving fuel, conserving tyres at this point for JPP. Right on board with him, meanwhile further back, he's going to have to cut away because it seems as though Leah has made a bit of a mistake there. And that has allowed Barlow to go through and up the inside with DRS. So these guys are fighting hard. Meanwhile, the other AlphaTauri of Bad Otter now picks up a three second time penalty for track limits. APP then is gaining and he's going to have the move maybe set up on this main straight using his ERS here to gain. And I think he's going to go for it this time. He gets so close. Oh, and Big Mike's in the wall. And that's a safety car. Oh, dear. Couldn't tell you who was at fault there, but it just seemed as though Big Mike kept squeezing 
and squeezing JPP as he was already there on track. But then this, this will save some of the soft compound runners who may look to box onto the hard tyres now, but I think every everyone who was on the soft, excuse me, has already pit. Meanwhile, then we've already had a few pit stops from people who were in, and Stars Orphan, who has made some great progress in this race of Stars, he is up, what? Stars is up nine positions at the moment, from P19 up to P10. So great stuff for Stars Orphan at the moment in his Alpine car. He's got Ethel Moorhead behind him, and interestingly, Bad Otter was one of those that pit under that safety car. He boxed onto some soft compound tyres. So that is interesting. I do, uh, I do apologise, I don't know Southerner, I don't really know what I've just seen. Uh, to me it seemed as though Big Mike kept squeezing and squeezing whilst um, JPP was there. But I need, I need to see another angle of it, but obviously I'm on, on the camera so um, I guess we won't get another angle of it unless either of them are streaming. But meanwhile then, our top two are in. SLR Dodgy is into the pits for some soft tyres, interestingly, for Dodgy. He's looking to gain early on, whereas JPP is going on to the hard tyres. He's got held up a little bit there and might actually lose out. He has. He's lost out to SLR Barlow in that in that instance. He got held up by Barlow and the Alpha Tauri of Leah coming in. And he's actually lost out then to the Alpine. So, this could go very interestingly now, because JPP and Barlow have both been showing some great pace, but so is Leah. So we'll have to wait and see. Meanwhile then, it's Alpha Tauri 1-2. Neither of them have pit so far in this race. Richie on the mediums and um, Kicklin on the hards. Does Kicklin do a bit of defending here for Richie on Dodgy? As long as nothing Dodgy happens. <clears throat> so then, as the safety car comes, safety car is out, we're going to check penalties. It's 3 second time penalty for Hilton, 3 seconds for Legendary Danny D, it's 3 seconds for Bad Otter, and it's 3 seconds for Ethel Argy. So, this is going to be an interesting race. None of our so say front runners, as I'll call them, have got a penalty yet. It's mostly been towards the back of the point while we're seeing the penalty. Back of the grid. Ooh, I apologize. So then, uh, what's happened here? Dodgy is back into the pits. And he's gone on to the hard tyres, so what has gone on here? Himself and Richie have both boxed onto some hard tyres, but why did Dodgy come back in when he was on the softs? Now this is interesting. Oh my god, my mic. Hold on. Safety car comes in this lap. It's going to be the Alfa Romeo of SLR Hicklin who takes the lead and will take us off on this restart. But it's 
going to be SLR Barlow, who has inherited the lead. <laughs> so, now, this is where it gets interesting. With Dodgy making a pit stop, which I cannot fathom why he would make, it's going to be down to SLR Barlow, and I believe we might have seen Hicklin has gone, maybe? No, but this could cause a bit of chaos. I think Hicklin might look to go now. He's not left a lot of room between himself and... The safety car, but here goes Hicklin then. He's not actually got that great a restart. Barlow seems to have got a way better restart than the Alfa Romeo. He pulls to the outside, does the Alpine, and they're going to go side by side down into turn one. Who's going to be the last of the late breakers? It's going to be Barlow, but there's contact and it sent Hicklin into the wall, and Hicklin is out of the race. That's so unfortunate. It just, they just. It's usually three into one doesn't go, but this time it was two into one doesn't go, and that two cars out between a couple of races. Go away, Harry, please. And now then, that's going to allow SLR Barlow to maybe pull away, but it's SLR Barlow from, from JPP Gaming, from Leah, from Legendary Danny D, from Moly, who's up from towards P14, I believe. And then it's Maxwell. And meanwhile then, Legendary um, Danny D has been overtaken by, has overtaken two cars, actually, as Danny D. Seems to have his overtake stuck on as he runs a bit wide out of the fast left right chicane. Why do I keep getting messages? Stop the messages. So then, it's a virtual safety car because we've got Husky Saturn who has gone round. So, Husky Saturn has gone round, maybe lost his front wing. It's not been a great day for the Williams of Husky. But that has brought out a virtual safety car, which is just going to cool things down. As you can just have a look at all these messages were about. Right. So I can see in chat. Um, Hicklin is really not happy with Barlow for that move he pulled in turn one. I don't know what to make of it. I think maybe he was entitled to a bit of racing room. But um, other than that... I don't know, as the virtual safety car has now come in. Who's got a good restart then? Has anybody got a better restart than the car in front of them? I believe we might see one as Bad Otter is looking to overtake the Alpine of Stars here. And he pulls well out of the way onto the grass almost there. And also we've seen JPP get overtaken by Moly. But Bad Otter then, with a very audacious move, is through on Stars Orphan, who is holding on for a great race at the moment. So 12 out of the 29 laps are completed. Coming up on to finish the, um, oh no, sorry, coming up to finish the 12th lap and enter the 13th, but Legendary Danny D showing good pace on some soft tyres, it must be said, maybe looking to gain on Barlow and take the lead of this race for a couple of laps. Further back, and we've got more fighting as Dodgy finds his way through on Baggy Fan, and he's round the outside of the McLaren, and he's through, and then it's Richie goes through on the McLaren as well. We see a Red Bull fighting the rear, I believe that might have been Vettel fighting the rear through that final corner. Another yellow flag, I think Mellow gone round. It is Mellow gone round, unfortunate for the South African there. But then legendary Danny D looking to gain and looking to overtake SLR Barlow. Now have a good chance going down the long back straight here as he looks to gain and gain and gain. It's so difficult to know where to look at the moment because everyone is so close to one another right now. And I think our main source of attraction at the moment might look to be dodgy. But I'm going to flick back to the front as with DRS enabled, legendary Danny D goes to the front. He makes the overtake, gets past the Alpine, and he is through and a nice clean move for the McLaren driver. Meanwhile then, Moly has gotten through on Leah. JPP has held position. Has Dodgy made a move yet? I don't think he has. He's going to come under a bit of pressure here from Richie Chappell, who's got an absolutely brilliant exit off that fast left right chicane. And they're going to go three wide. Is it going to work? Oh, it's not. But they have all made it through cleanly. And Richie, with a brilliant move there, might be one of the moves of the weekend. Round the outside and great stuff to get past two cars. 
So then Barlow holding on to the back of the McLaren at the moment and Leah looking to gain on the Red Bull. Uh, JPP looking to gain back the few positions he lost. Bad Otter picks up his second penalty of the day. Echo, meanwhile, is fighting with SMR Dodgy. And Echo is oh, almost into the back there with Dodgy. And Dodgy has actually pushed Echo off the track there. The stewards might look at that and say he would have to give the position back in race. But he'd probably be more likely to be a penalty after the race. Meanwhile, then, that leaves Echo under, under fire from Baggy Fan. And but further in front, we've got this, like, five or six car battle going on for the final podium spot. Leah holding on to it at the... Uh, Leah holding on to the back of Moly at the moment, but he's coming under fire from JPP as SLR Halo is out, and that brings out the second safety car of the day. Multiple cars involved, it would seem. I believe, yeah, Halo, and I might want to say Vettel as well. Vettel is missing his front wing, so... It's Halo and Vettel involved, the Aston Martin and the Red Bull. Now leaves Halo out of the race and Vettel with damage. Do we see legendary Danny D come into the box? He does come in. So Danny D into the pits then. Almost hits the wall there actually. But Danny D taking the liberty of boxing off some fresh rubber. Moly also coming in for some fresh rubber as is Leah, JPP. Maxwell stays out. But SLR Barlow then, who held the lead early. Oh, Vettel is now out of the race himself. I'm going to hold up SLR James. It doesn't because he's in the inside of the track. It's impossible to tell who's where at the moment. But Moly, I believe, has picked up a five seconds for speeding in the pit lane. So I believe so that could be Moly needing to make another pit stop. We'll have to wait and see. But all of these pit stops then means that SLR Dodgy cycles out in P6. So he, he was leading, he boxed, he was running P4, and then he boxed again, or down towards the back, and now he's up in P6. So this will either be a strategic masterclass for Dodgy, or it will shoot him in the foot. But then, so we're gonna we're gonna look at the tire situation at the moment then. So Barlow on six lap hold hards, Maxwell six lap hold medium, F1 Warhead seven lap hold hards, legendary Danny D has cycled out in P4 in this race on fresh medium tires. He is in a really good position at the moment. With Richie behind him on five lap hold hards, Dodgy on five lap hold hards, Baggy Fan on 13 lap hold hards. He had to pit on lap one. Then it's Leah, and then anyone from. Um, Leah downwards, excluding James, is on fresh rubber. So we started with 20, we've got 16 left, four drivers out of the race. This is where it gets interesting, we're not we're over the halfway point of the race now, we're at the halfway point. As we see coming in, Baggy Fan and Richie. So Richie wants the game cycling in out of um, out of sequence to everyone else. They stack up next to one another in the box. Richie stays in front of the McLaren for the time being, and this now promotes Dodgy up into P5. So Danny D could be in a very good position here on those medium tyres, but we know how fast Dodgy is, and we know how fast the likes of Barlow is. And also Leah Moly who are on similar, who are on the same lap tyres from the same laps as legendary Danny D. So this is going to be an interesting.
So, safety car will be in at the end of the next lap, I'm going to assume, because Husky Saturn hasn't caught up to the pack. No safety cars in this lap. That's a very late call for the safety car to come in. So, it's got, Barlow is really going to have to back off here in the Alpine as he decides when is good to go. When does he go? Does he wait? Or does he go on the corner? Oh, almost contact between Warhead and Maxwell there. As Barlow has gone, he's got a pretty good restart. But further back, you've got Lee, I think that is, who's got an amazing restart. Cannot overtake before the line, though. And he has had to back off. But Warhead has lost out to legendary Danny D straight away. As Danny D is looking to make early gains on those medium tyres. Further back, Stars Orphan and JPP. It's, it's, oh, it's chaos everywhere. Legendary Danny D has unfortunately picked up a penalty for overtaking under yellow flags. But it's chaos further back. And F1 Warhead is just dropping back at the moment. He doesn't have the pace. Oh, that's close between Moly, Bad Otter and Warhead. They're all fighting for the same bit of tarmac right now. Dodgy is a little bit further back. But here comes Danny D then up the inside on Barlow using the medium tyres to his advantage but also burning through his ERS at the moment does he look to pull to the inside of Maxwell no backs off early but a little bit of contact mid corner might unsettle the Ferrari it doesn't settle the Ferrari and the Ferrari is off wide and this is now going to allow oh my god as Barlow pulls to the outside this is going to be a great move if he pulls it off he does pull it off but Danny D is still there and this is just allowing Dodgy to gain and gain and gain but you've also got Leah behind Dodgy on much quicker tyres at the moment. Could the Alpha, It's the two Alpha Tauris fighting at the moment now. As they're side by side hanging into the final corner. One on medium, one on hard. It's both on the same... They both pit the same lap. But it looks all good right now then. As Dodgy pulls to the inside and gets to on Maxwell. Who has a... Who's struggling for traction on the straight there. And he's been run into the back of by... Um, I think that was bad off to there. Bad Otter is dropping down the field as he is spun. Further back, you've got F1 Warhead who keeps falling back, and it's not looking to be a good race for the hash driver at the moment. Dodgy is up into P3. He's looking to make the gains that he deserves after that, um, what I would call a questionable strategic strategy. But it might work out for him in the end. Danny D then is trying his hardest to gain on Barlow, but Barlow is showing some good pace, not to forget either that um, Danny D with eight seconds of penalties because of that yellow flag infringement. Further back, Maxwell drops back again because JPP has now overtaken him. And now Echo is looking to make gains on Stars Orphan, but he has a snap mid corner and cannot do anything there. Legendary Danny D just trying his hardest to stick with Barlow at the moment. Cannot afford to slip up. He has to use every bit of tyres he has because we know Barlow uh, will probably have the pace on the McLaren. But here he comes then with what could be great traction to the final corner. Here comes Danny D. There was a bit of a wiggle for Barlow out of the final corner. And there it goes. There goes Danny D through on the inside. He's now got a pull an eight second margin though. And with his tyres on... With his toes being softer than that of Barlow, I can sh I'm struggling to see how he'll make it happen. Maxwell then is just falling back. It's been a it's been a day to forget for Ferrari. They're currently sitting in the final two finishing positions, and it's not been great for them today. Baggy fan, meanwhile, is gaining on Echo, and there is a. There's just action everywhere. It's impossible to know where to look. But Baggy found with a big snap out of that fast right-hander. And that has allowed SLR James in his Mercedes to slip through. Here comes Dodgy then. Does he look to make a move on SLR Barlow? He might think about it. But it's nothing happening at the moment. However, he's got a much better exit than the Alpine driver. They're going to go side by side and Dodgy is through. And I believe he will look to now hunt down legendary Danny D. But he's had a massive snap. And that's allowed um, uh, Barlow to go back through. And this has now allowed Leah to come back into it. And Moly is a bit further behind. But there has been a big crash at the back by the seams of things. It involves Richie and F1 Warhead. So long as there is no safety car called, we should have a good lot of action still to come. But Richie then, I don't know what happened, but Richie and F1 Warhead came to blows out of that tight right-hander. They must have been going side by side. But here comes Leah then. 
on the inside of Barlow. He's already got past Dodgy, and he's used the DRS effectively there, and through he goes. Baggy Fan picks up a penalty for track limits, and legendary Danny D at the moment is showing good pace to pull away. But what can Leah do now? He's in front of those two. We've got another yellow flag. I believe Warhead has gone round again. That is really unfortunate if he has. But you've got Stars Orphan and SLR James have also had to pit in this. So I don't know what's happened between them two, but Stars Orphan will be absolutely seething at that after having such a good race so far. And Dodgy and Barlow have now swapped positions. Barlow struggling on pace at the moment. Now Dodgy's going to put pressure on SLR Leah here. Dodgy riding on board with the Aston Martin. And his hard tyres still showing a really nice pace. So Baggy Fan, as people have pointed out, is up the points, but oh no, the commentator's curse couldn't have come at a worse time for him. Oh dear, Baggy Fan is in the wall. Dear oh dear. The McLaren has spun it round, and now we've got SLR Barlow and JPP, but there's a virtual safety car. I don't know what happened there, I believe JPP might have had to give that position back. Danny D then leads on the virtual safety car ahead of SLR Leah, ahead of Dodgy, and then it's JPP further behind. So as it stands at the moment then, le um, legendary Danny D is still on for a P3 finish here as Melo gets a drive through penalty for speeding under the safety car. That was that sa uh, virtual safety car was not out very long, and in the pits then we've got an Alfa Romeo, lead baggy fan. Yeah, so Baggy Fan is in the pits, as is SLR James. Mello is also a bit further back. So then SLR Dodgy still on the back of the AlphaTauri of Leah here. So what can he do to make impressions on that AlphaTauri car? Well, Leah is still thinking about trying to... Think is if Leah can keep Dodgy behind here... He should realistically get this win unless Danny D can pull out an absolute madness in his final eight laps. Oh, pulled off a two-stop. SLR Barlow is the highest one, is the only driver on a one-stop now. Danny D up from P7, Leah up from P5, Dodgy down from pole position. JPP was third, he's now fourth. SLR Moly has had a good race, he's now fifth. Barlow has held position, and Husky and Echo are both up position, so after a few incidents between them both, not between the two drivers as contact, but split in the instance between them, Williams are on for a double points finish at the moment, Bad Otter in P9, Maxwell is there in the final points playing position, and I believe Mello now comes into the pits to serve his drive through, we've seen SR James just pick up a fastest lap, Barlow, meanwhile, just picked up a penalty, which I believe was three seconds at the minute. It was, but Moly, remember, has that five seconds added to his race time at the end of this, unless he picks again. That gap for the lead is beginning to close slightly. <sighs> I do apologise about the morning. Right. But Melo then has just come out behind Stars Orphans. He's on the medium, Stars is also on the medium. So we have an interesting end to the race between them guys, but it won't be for points. Meanwhile then, the furthest battle, or the closest battle we've got, is between Barlow and Moly, the two SLR guys fighting for the place in the top five. All Barlow has to do is keep within two seconds of the Red Bull car here, and he will have that top five finish secured. Does he look to make a move down into turn one? We've seen him come to blows from another driver already at turn one, but he doesn't this time because he backs off. Bit of a snap through turn two. They head now down towards the heavy braking zone of turn three. They'll go all the way down into probably third gear here. Or down to second gear even. So Barlow is looking to keep within two seconds at the moment. Dodgy, meanwhile, is looking to maybe just solidify a place on the podium for the time being. He is pushing on. Maybe maybe he looks to go for the move now. Serving his ERS, he's got more than that of Leah, and he's using the DRS effectively here, but he backs off, waiting for his chance down the next straight. Leah has, um, had a, hasn't had an ideal exit there. Does he go defensive? No. 
with Dodgy does now go through on the Alpha Tauri and he's going to start his resurgence up to that P1 spot that he held for the early parts of this race. Further back then, Barlow has now got through on Moly. And then Richie has now picked up a three second time time. A bad Otter then is looking to make a move on um, Echo here. This is the move for P8. He's looking to go around the outside. This is going to get so close and they come to blows. And Echo with a half spin there saves it just about. So that's going to get looked at by the stewards. I think I would maybe put the blame on Bad Otter there. JPP now picks up a three second time penalty. So this is going to be one hell of a finish to this race. I wouldn't go nowhere if I was you guys. And SLR Leah starting to drop off the back of Dodgy. Dodgy starting to put the laps, starting to put the lap together. Sorry, to uh, gain on legendary Danny D. Danny D at the moment, then I believe would drop outside of that top, of that podium positions but he would still finish fourth which again I couldn't tell you if that was good for him or not because I've not commentated this tier often I think I've done it once before so then what can the um McLaren and Aston Martin do for this final win or what can the McLaren do more importantly to keep a spot on that podium not a lot by the looks of it. JPP is showing good pace right now as he begins to reel in Leah. And there's nobody really close to one another at the moment. We now move on to lap 25 of the race. 25, 24 laps completed. Five more laps to go. I need a thing. Meanwhile then, further back, we've got Stars Orphan, who is on the back of Mello at the moment. So Stars in his Alpine against the South African in his Ferrari. Not making a lot of inroads. Bad Otter picks up another three second time penalty there. So that's going to drop him further down the order. Let's go, you're an idiot, guys. But he is also now starting to put a lap together to gain on Husky. But it would all be for nothing because he, he will just start dropping further back. However, as it stands right now, he would have a points paying position, a point at the minimum, um, in the bag. So we're still going to have to wait and see what happens for the rest of this race as we ride on board with the Alphatari at the moment. Basically Danny Kvyat, which is, you know, 26 Alphatari. He's going to go down the inside of Husky. Husky knew not to fight that. And through he goes into P7 for the time being. He's now going to look to pull away from Husky and from Maxwell and from Echo. He's got to pull an almost six second gap to solidify a top eight finish here. It's going to be difficult, but not impossible. Meanwhile then, progress further forward for Dodgy seems to have stalled a little bit. Meanwhile though, some of that's not stalled is JPP on Leah as um, Stars Orphan picks up a 5 second time penalty for corner cutting there. That's clearly in his fight with Mello. So we'll wait to see what comes of that post race. JPP then is within DRS range on the Alphatari of Leah. Can he make anything happen as he pushes on to Sorry, I was reading something in chat. Um, as he pushes on to get that final podium place, they're going on to lap 27 soon enough. Dodgy still within one and a half seconds, maybe just looking to solidify to make sure he doesn't make any mistakes now because he knows he's got that win on track. Dodgy then just dropping back a little bit on uh, Legendary as they are going to start coming up to lap traffic very soon. They've already lapped Stars Orphan, but next up will be F1 Warhead in P15. So the Hash Driver make sure he's not too much of a nuisance and he's not he pulls nicely out of the way for them both so 
not want to get involved in that in the slightest. Further back, you've got Baggy Fan is now gaining on Richie Chapel. JPP was gaining on Leah, but has now dropped off the back. He's too much of his tires. So Baggy Fan has that spin whilst running in really nice um, point point position. Aaron is down in P13 at the moment then. Oh, and almost has a... Almost, almost, very close to going out there. Um, I believe I just got a bar over all over the curb there. He's struggling. APP, meanwhile, is, um, trying his hardest to find a way through on SLR Leah. But with that three seconds and the limited amount of laps we've got left, I find it, I start to find it a bit difficult all the gaps we need. We've got further back a bad otter. A bad otter has had a little excursion onto the gravel and he has and that has now put him back under pressure from past the second. So with his 12 seconds of penalties that is not what he needed at all. So uh let's see how this all plays out. But, meanwhile, further forward, we've got SLR Dodgy is now within DRS range on Legendary Danny D. Has he just been setting this up for a final lap shootout, for a final lap showdown between these two? Regardless of penalties, Bad Otter picks up another 3 second penalty. That makes it 15 seconds for the Alpha Tauri driver. And JPP and SLR Leia are side by side, and JPP has now gotten through into that top 3 position. But with the three seconds he has, will he hold on to it? Will he keep that podium? We'll have to wait and see. But we turn our attention back to the lead of the race. As now legendary Danny D is coming under so much pressure from the Aston Martin of SLR Dodgy here. It, it would be a Mercedes 1-2-3 if you took into account the power units each of these cars used. But could the Red Bull powertrain car stop that? Potentially. Here comes the Aston Martin then. He's going to come, start, he's going to come flaming out into in the DRS with the um there is a bit of lap traffic sorry of Mello coming out of the pit luckily ghosting is on so nothing too bad has happened of it but does Dodgy look to make the move or does he hold station Stars Orphan picks up the fastest lap of the race as Dodgy has had a big snap there Dodgy has dropped out of the one second window so that's really unfortunate for the Aston Martin but with the eight seconds that legendary Danny D has could it be could it just be a case of survive to the end? He has a puncture, it will badly affect him. SLR Leo then is fine, is still within three seconds of the car in front of him. Meanwhile, for the final point playing position, Echo and SLR James are fighting so hard. It's impossible to know where to look all of a sudden when this final lap of the race is turned up to 11. Leah, does he look to make the move or does he look to solidify the position further back? We'll have to wait and see. SLR Leah then, I think he's just going to sit behind. But we turn our attention to the front of the grid. We've got Mello pushing so hard to try and unlap himself to get one more lap in. So he can push the fast lap and I think he's going to do it. But legendary Danny D then, he had a good strategy going for him. He's going to cross the line in first place. But it's going to be SLR Dodgy who comes across the line to win the race. And then in P3... Is it going to be? It's SLR Leah in P2 and then JPP is in P3. So that P f that um penalty has actually dropped Legendary Danny D down to P4. It's then going to be Barlow in P5, Moly in P6, Bad Otter will cross the line in P7. But with all the penalties, who knows where he'll, he'll, where he'll square him out in. I believe he'll still be in the top 10. I believe he might be P9. So then it's Bad Otter across the line to finish in P7, but it'll probably be P9. Husky, Saturn, and Maxwell are going to go really close to the edge there, but they are only separated by a couple of Husky, Saturn, P7, Maxwell, P8, Bad Otter, P9, SLR, James will come home in P10, or will he? Because here comes Richie Chapel. It's Richie Chapel to take P10. SLR, James takes P11. Maxwell will come home in P12. And then Baggy Fan, Mello, Warhead, and Stars Orphan round out the end of that race so then it's SLR Dodgy who um who picked twice in this race I couldn't quite understand the fact that stop, but now I do and then it's SLR Leah fought valiantly for that P2 place 
was running in P3 for most of it of that final stint of the race, but showed great pace to hold on with JPP. Let me invite them for interviews. Dodgy. Oh, the other guys are going to be, um, are they on? Are they on thingy? Finally earned. There we go. So then, just to confirm, the final grid order then, SLR Dodgy wins the race ahead of SLR Leah and JPP in P3. Legendary Danny D fought valiantly, tried his best for the podium, but only P4 in the end. SLR Barlow will come home in P5 ahead of SLR Moly. Husky Saturn in P7, Maxwell P8, Bad Otter P9, and Richie will round out points scorers in P10. So I've got two of the drivers in at the moment. I don't know if JPP is joining for interviews or not. Uh, I've sent him an invite, so I'm going to assume he's not joining. <laughs> 